Hey guys, Aaron here from Golf Custom. As you might know, I finished rebuilding this machining center just a couple of weeks ago, and to celebrate, I kind of wanted to have a, a bit of a party at the shop. And I wanted everybody to be able to actually run the machine, because my friends have seen this, but you know, none of them have seen or used a, a real machine like this. Now, actually cutting metal would have been too dangerous with, uh, with a bunch of people around, because it would have been flying shards of metal, that kind of thing. So, I came up with the idea to use the machine as a photo booth instead, which sounds kind of crazy, but the, the proof is in the pudding. Um, so basically what I did was I wrote a piece of software that runs on my MacBook, and you sit in front of it and you take a picture of yourself like you would in a photo booth using the webcam, and then it converts the image to grayscale, it posterizes it, makes it smaller, and then converts it into a depth map, which then prints using a, a marker on a piece of paper. Um, and it, it worked surprisingly well. I was kind of pleased that it actually worked at all. Uh, I, I didn't actually get it working until people had already started showing up, so it was a bit of a close call. I'm releasing all of the code for doing this as open source on GitHub, so if you guys are interested in seeing how it works, uh, check out the links in the video description underneath the video. So the first step is basically to double click on the application and you put your name in and then it pops up a little box uh, with a webcam window in it and you can make a face and it takes your photo and you hit done and it basically now takes that image, generates a depth map and then generates a, a preview, an SVG preview as well uh, and then we head over to the machine and run the actual file from the computer Okay, so now that we've got the paper set up, we need to transfer the program onto the machine. So to do that, we're going to type CD, 8, which tells it to change to listening on the serial port at 9600 board. Then we're going to type DIR+, which talks to the piece of software that I wrote and gives a listing of all of the uh, files on my laptop. So the file that we want is number 6. So we're going to tell it to talk to the laptop again. Then we're going to say a comma and then the number, so number six, and hit plus. And now it's transferring the data from the computer to the machining center. All right, so now the program's loaded, so we're gonna go into auto mode, and then you just get to hit the big green button. So basically what's happening is the marker is actually moving up and down just minutely to change the different gray level that you're seeing. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the, the process of, of using the CNC photo booth. It's a bit of a, a silly and frivolous use for a large piece of industrial machinery, but you've got to have fun sometimes, right? Uh, the reason that I have time to actually be doing this stuff at the moment is because I'm still waiting on the compressor, on my new compressor to arrive. I can't really use the machine for doing prototyping until the compressor's here, so hopefully it will arrive in a week or so, uh, and then after that I'll be getting started on the prototypes for the new version of the Resolute. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, more videos to come.
So awesome. <laughs> there he is. It works. Just your first name. I grew up in Anaheim. I thought of it like months ago when I first saw the rocket. Yeah. That's good. Wow. <laughs>